So many went and changed, so many tried to ply Meet them at heaven's gates, or either hell's lie Or just disintegrate, I took the snail's route It's like my snares is equivalent to gunshots DC, yeah, aka the melting pot When I was five years old, I seen a body rot Bloodbath in the street So right after what I seen I couldn't bathe for weeks World so cold Damn they made my heart froze World so cold Damn they made my heart froze Please pray for me This pad is dope and I'm here with Boy on dog, what it do, what it do On dog what, is, what's, what does that mean? It's my last name, it's Jerm. Okay. It's just a, a, a given name passed down, I run with it. Most stuff. All right, we have the Red Skins thing. We got uh, the single, Pray For Me. Why did, what are we praying for you for? Why the Red Skins Stadium? You, you call my phone, you're like, yo, this the location I want to do. Right, right. What does this represent? I mean, it's just a uh, home for me. You know okay. what I mean? I've been around here all this time. Never been to a Red Skin game. So Never I, been to one? Pay homage through this video, you know. That's all it is. Okay, pray for me. Uh, what inspired that track? Pray for me. What inspired that track? Um, just some years back, when I was going through dark times and stuff like that, and I just wanted to uh, like heal myself through the music. Mm -hmm. So there yeah, you have it. Pray for me. There you got it. We we gotta get the promotion ready. We gotta get the tape is done. Yeah. We just gotta, you know, you said you gotta get this money because rapping is not a fucking easy thing to find. It's not cheap. Not, not by no means. No, but you, I mean, you, you, you paying for studio time. You had house studio, midnight studios. Yeah. Those those are top quality studios in the DMV. Let's talk about your recording process because you said the tape is done. Yeah, it's finished. Let me know about it. All right, the, the tape, which y'all might not know, it's called a rap album. The rap album? Yeah, it's a nine track, nine track album. Why, why rap album? That's just what I call it because, you know what I mean? I feel like trap is the most prevalent genre right now, but it's people that still rap, it's still a market for rap, so I just let people know a rap album, like, okay. it's blatant and simple, a rap album, so I just called it that, I thought that was catchy. You know? Most of what? Record process, uh, so, features, uh, production, let me know. It's a, it's a, uh, it's all me, ain't no, ain't no features or nothing like that, it's all me, because it's my first project, I want people to, you know what I'm saying, really hit me, and just like, you know what I'm saying, experience my sound, I got a unique sound, I've been okay. told. And um, my recording process is simple, you know what I mean? Going, I, I, I make the beats, I produce all my tracks too. So I do that, I get a vibe in the studio, start mumbling, man, that's catchy. And record it, I always record on my phone first, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Go to the studio, lay it down about 15 minutes, get it mixed and mastered, and so that was the process. So how do you produce and rap? Like, what is, what is, I mean, what do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, I make the beats, like, you know, I find the samples, I search for the samples, I make the beats with me, like, I loop, I loop the track, I loop the main instrument, the drums, the snares, the hi-hats. Okay. How easy is that for you, since you had a, a little most control of it, you rap, you produce, you just get it mixed and mastered by something, like, how do you, how does that work for you, is that easier, you trust yourself? Yeah, it's like... I don't know, my sound, I started off as a producer first. Okay. And oh, rapping, that's what you said, okay, yes. And rapping is just like, it made sense. The sky's blue, dimmer than you. My denims is too. You looking at me, but you gotta be in, that's curfew. I met your neck, I hope I don't hurt you. Choker that she wore in my house just to give fuck. Then she had to go. Life's a bitch, but tell me no lies. Tell me some truth in between. You fucking with me. But then you know what I mean. Truth be told, it ain't that sweet. You fucking with me, life is bitter than sour. Get money by hours, days go by. Shit, months went by, I ain't even sigh. I heard my grandmother, yeah, still she cry. Boy, when you gonna get a job? Didn't you graduate? Fuck that, rapping my dream, I don't hesitate. Niggas looking at me like they on their menstrual cycle. Fuck you, I'm backtracking. Ain't nothing like you. What happened? These niggas out here, trap rapping. I'm real rapping. Don't get it confused with a dude like me. I send it back to you when I'm hot. That's about 100 degrees. 
I make it move. That's like more than one centipede. 200 on my track. Nigga bounce back. You ain't heard real rap till you heard me spit. So all I gotta say, life's a bitch. Tell me everything DC rap and your experiences and what you feel we are. You say we're the melting pot. Yeah, it's a melting pot. It's, it's, there's so many different cultures in DC. You know what I mean? It's bigger than just the hood. You got, you got Maryland. We so close to Maryland. We so close to VA. And that's a melting pot. Cause whether people believe it or not, they, other people idolize DC. They want to be like DC. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's just getting us on that platform to, to really build and become, you know what I'm saying, monumental. Most of uh, biggest thing that happened to you uh, with your music, involved in your music, the thing that keeps you going because at the end of the day, like you said, you probably wake up like, fuck this producer shit, I ain't get no money, nobody wanna yeah, pay my beats. I done had them days. Fuck this rap shit, nobody I don't, I, I don't have a following, this, that, and the third. Why, why this <laughs> interview, why this interview, and what's some positive things that happen you know, with music. Uh, you know, I chose this interview, you know, main rockin' with Pat is dope, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I met you at the Street City on my, my first job, but I just felt like the energy was right. Cause this other uh, bloggers out there, they more street, you know what I mean, more street wise, and I'm a, I'm a cool laid back type of dude, you know what I mean? Dress like stay fly, you know what I'm saying, like yourself. For sure, appreciate it. And I, know, I noted that, and I was like, man, it's a good look, why not? Why not collab with somebody, you know what I mean, doing the same thing you want to do. So that's how that came about, this interview. Some good times I had. Um, well, my, my most memorable, memorable time with the music, I met um, Malice from the Clips. Okay. And we chopped it up for 30 minutes, you know what I mean? And Any that, gems? What you mean, gems? Any gems that he told you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, definitely gave me a bunch of insight. And it was just like, you know what I'm saying, divine intervention because there's a bunch of people at the time he could have sat next to, he just sit next to me. He talked to me first, you know what I mean? Not on the, oh, hey, how you doing? But he was like, yo, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And that was just like God saying, like, man, look, this music stuff won't work out. What's in your iPod? What, what do you wake up to? What, what, do you, what do you listen to right now? Okay, what I listen to right now, really, I ain't gonna lie, I like the radio. So whatever they playing on the like radio. the radio? I like, and nah, they got some good stuff on the radio, okay. man. I like the radio. I've been on some R&B lately. Particular artist I've been listening to. I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big Kanye fan, big Jay Z fan. So them two always. They say Kanye uh, working on, you know, Wyoming. He he out there working on the next project. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as let them know where to follow you. When it's a, it's projected to drop, because we gotta go back and get some more money. You know, I just know fucked that. up some money too. You know, <laughs> you know we gotta that. go back to some money. But, and then, you know. Everything good though. You know, <laughs> plug, plug all your social media, talk your shit, the stage is all yours. Because remember, he said this is what he does. This is what he, he raps about and what he lives. It's all dog, Pat is dope. Pray for me is out now, right? Yes, sir. Um, That's you let him know what he get. Y'all can go on SoundCloud backslash one dog. O R E N D O F F. You can catch me myself on IG at Hate Free Hustle, just like that, Hate Free Hustle.